Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Half Gazette, here with the next video, and this is going to be an interesting tactical type video, kind of for overall clan strategy, as well as I guess a few of the more specifics as far as what attacks you can use. But today we're talking about uh, a possible adjustment of having some of your Town Hall 9s go a little bit higher to two stars and Town Hall 10s. We'll get into the specifics in just a moment. First, I want to say uh, for those of you guys that have been looking for the Town Hall 10 content, uh, attack strategies especially, I know I haven't had as much heavy hitter stuff as far as Town Hall 10s and Town Hall 11s go on the channel. But uh, moving forward over the next few days, you should see, because um, we have you know a few good wars we're going to be drawing from, you should see quite a bit of action uh, for the Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11 attacks, maybe some attack strategies, maybe a whole attack a meta video. I'm still you know kind of waiting to do the second one of that when I figure things out a little bit better. But uh, you're definitely going to see some stuff for Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11. So just sit tight if that's kind of what, you're, what you've been looking for. But anyway, that being said, let's get into this video. And I want to talk a little bit about overall war strategy and possible changes, adjustments your clan can make if you're in similar wars with similar weighted bases, uh, Town Hall 11s, Town Hall 10s, Town Hall 9s, that similar CWL type weight. Uh, that we have for all the clans involved in the CWL system, but even a lot of clans beyond that that still have similar type weights uh, for the bases they use in war. So I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, play the replays in the background, uh, at least for the first part of this video. But basically, I want to talk about strategy. And right now in the game, what we're seeing is we're seeing the town hall, the top town hall tens not being three-starred at all, really. Uh, we're seeing it occasionally, but there's no consistency as far as the Town Hall 10s being three-starred at the very top of the map. We're seeing, I'd say on average of the CWL wars I've seen uh, from you know other c channels covering it, from my own experience in the wars, I've seen about an average of a third of the Town Hall 10s being three-starred. And that's a big change from before like the minor nerf and all that stuff when we could see up to the entire... Uh, Town Hall 10, uh, all the Town Hall 10s being three-starred, that's a big shift, but it's just a little bit harder to three-star at the, the top levels than it was a few months ago. So because of that, I think there needs to be a few adjustments made. And the thing I'm proposing, and I'll explain it a little bit, is using some low-level Town Hall 9 attacks to two-star these top Town Hall 10 bases. And you might wonder, okay, why haven't we been seeing this? Because I haven't seen it much at all. Um, maybe you guys have seen it more. But really, I think the reason we haven't seen it is because the Town Hall 9 attacks are all being used for Town Hall 9 bases. Uh, that's to say that the Town Hall 9s are not cleaning up every Town Hall 9 base. People are having to use dip attacks. So because of that, there's no free Town Hall 9 attacks to go up and two-star these bases. But what I'm thinking is it could make more sense to even before the Town Hall 9s are cleared, to go ahead and go up and get those Town Hall 10s two-starred. It's going to have to happen anyway. It doesn't look like they're going to be three-starred. Better off do that and be able to have a certain 100% uh, three-star if it's a dip attack that kind of replaces that Town Hall 9's attack. Even if it is a dip attack, at least you know, okay, a dip attack's pretty much 95% of the time, or maybe not that much, but because we've seen a lot of failed dip attacks, but most of the time that's going to be a three-star. Maybe that's a better trade. Um, by the way, awesome attack here by Boss OG with the low-level heroes, level like two Valks, level three Golem. Uh, really crushed it. We'll take a look at one more of his attacks too. Um, but going back to what I said, uh, it, I think it makes more sense in certain contexts to do that because you think to yourself, okay, we need our Town Hall 11s to dip down and three-star some of the Town Hall 10s. Uh, maybe to win a war, if you can get half the Town Hall 10s to maybe even up to two-thirds would be really good. That'd be really good for a war to get two-thirds of those Town Hall 10s. Maybe, I don't know how many there are. If there's 12, usually not up 12, but maybe if there's 10, get uh, six of those three-starred. That would be really good, I think. That would win most wars, at least from what I've seen. Um, and in order to do that, you're saying, well, we're not going to three-star three the four top bases because those are the, probably going to be the four hardest bases to take out uh, just because of the defensive level and everything. So those four bases, it kind of becomes, okay, what are we going to do with them? And pretty much what we've seen is all the Town Hall 9 attacks be used on Town Hall 9s. 
for some reason, Town Hall 9 is a pretty difficult game right now. I'm not sure the exact reason, but uh, we're not seeing the Town Hall 9s be able to 3-star all the other Town Hall 9s without a few dip attacks, usually. That's not always the case, but usually. And because of that, we haven't seen many Town Hall 9s freed up to actually go ahead and try to 2-star these Town Hall 10s. But what I'm saying is it might make more sense, sorry about that, fast forward a little bit, but it might make more sense to just go ahead and say, okay, maybe we'll have our, you know, our bottom Town Hall 10 that has the 30, 35 heroes, the mostly max troops, but, you know, some are still Town Hall 9 level. Make that kind of Town Hall 9.5, for lack of a better word. Just go ahead and dip down. Okay, you're going to two star, you're going to three star two Town Hall 9s. Uh, we're kind of decided on that for the most part. And that's how Town Hall 9s just do extraordinary uh, and are able to clean up all the nines with attacks to spare. That probably won't be the case, though. So typically, you're, uh, in my plan, you're going to designate, I'd say, one or two Town Hall 10s dipping down and three-starring the Town Hall 9s on the other side. Then using some of your low level, and you can see by these attacks, they can be your bottom Town Hall 9s. Using those uh, accounts, those those people, to go up and start to two-star these top bases because it's so easy. Um, just, I mean, you saw the first two attacks. They didn't even have max troops. A lot of them had Town Hall 8 level troops, uh, level 10, 10 heroes or around that level. Another attack by Ozio, another good example. These are max bases, but no one's putting their Town Hall farther than like the first layer of the base. That's pretty much all we're seeing. This is about the most protected you'll see a Town Hall. Um, in probably there's exceptions to that, but typically that's as far as deep in as a town hall is going to be, meaning uh, it comes down to percentage usually because the town hall is so exposed. And typically because people aren't putting seeking air mines or uh, traps or Teslas, uh, well, people sometimes people are, but for the most part, they're not nearly as vicious on the outside of their base as Town Hall 11s are because the Town Hall 11s, keep in mind, are specifically defending against two stars. Two stars. The Town Hall 10s are defending against three stars right now. So really, um, pretty much any base I've seen so far could be three-starred, or not three-starred, two-starred by a relatively low-level Town Hall 9. So as far as what Town Hall 9 account to use, you know, if you're not comfortable having your bottom uh, base do it, uh, that's fine. But definitely no higher than a mid-level Town Hall 9. Save your max Town Hall 9 accounts uh, to actually try to three-star some of the enemy Town Hall 9s. But when you think about the trade-off you're making, you're ensuring... Um, a few certain dip attacks, which are almost certain they're going to three star, you're trading those out for some two star attacks, which are, you know, a good chance of two starring. Um, if you don't do that trade, if you just kind of play it straight up, the Town Hall 10, okay, most of the time they'll two star, uh, but there might be a one star if they're trying for that three star on the Town Hall 10. Uh, I don't want to make this too confusing. But if you don't do that switch I'm talking about, then there's the risk of only getting a one star in the Town Hall 10 and having to attack it again. Um, and as far as the Town Hall 9 goes, there's, you know, by no means a certain three star there. So I think it makes more sense to kind of go with what is certain on some of these bases. Just say straight up, okay, we're going to do a few dip attacks with our bottom Town Hall 10s and we're going to go up and do some two stars on the top bases. Just get those certain stars. Don't waste any more than one attack on some of these bases because bases that eat up six, seven attacks, that's what loses the wars for you guys. Um, and for us too, I'm not like lecturing for, for any clan. So uh, that's why I think it's important to get those easy stars at the beginning. We're not seeing Town Hall the top Town Hall 10s be three-starred. I think the Town Hall 11 dip attacks should focus on mid-level Town Hall 10s and let those top, you know, two, three bases have some Town Hall 9s go up there and get the job done. That's going to be a lot more efficient than, uh, you know, having them try to th try to three-star some Town Hall 9s, which they might, you know, who knows. Uh, they have a good shot, uh, as most Town Hall 9s do. But it's not going to get you those sure stars. Um, they could fail their Town Hall 9 attack, meaning they're not really adding anything. And uh, sure, they'll save a Town Hall 10 from dipping if they get the 3-star. But uh, that Town Hall 10 attack still will have to take on one of these top Town Hall 10 bases, assuming the dip attack isn't used there. So... I'm doing my best to explain it. Sometimes I'm not the best at explaining things. Uh, if you guys have questions, be sure to let me know in the comments below. But basically, just to sum it up, guys, we right now in these wars are not seeing the top Town Hall 10 bases three-starred. 
Because of that, I think that the easiest way to get those sure stars, that sure two star, is going to be to bring your Town Hall 9 attacks up and two star the top you know, two bases maybe. Then just use a few dip attacks to say, hey, we're going to go ahead and dip. Um, we're going to use two accounts, the two bottom Town Hall 10s. Have them use maybe both their attacks, maybe one of their attacks, whatever. Dip down and three star those Town Hall 9s. Uh, most sure fire way to get the stars because what loses wars is you know consistently not adding any stars to the total and you could say okay one last thing i want to mention before i wrap this up is what about the percentage you know uh the percentage of a town hall 9 attacking a town hall 10 is going to be lower than the percentage of a town hall 10 or a town hall 11 uh trying to get the three star but not quite getting it and that's true but you can't base your war on percentage your percentage should never be your plan if you do a war right, you should have a good star differential, which is why, you know, maybe think about percentage towards the end if it's going to be close, but your plan should never be, well, we got to get high percentage on this base. That doesn't make sense. Uh, typically, it doesn't come down to percentage. Uh, if you use your attacks efficiently, the percentage should matter as long as you have the stars. So hope this made sense. Like I said before, drop a question. Let me know what you think of this strategy, if it seems like something that could be viable in some of these uh, high-level wars because I think it just kind of fits the situation. I was seeing some of these attacks, and it kind of, you know, just triggered that thought process. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys liked the video. Like I said, have some awesome wars this one, then the CWL this weekend. Going to be drawing attacks, defensive-type videos, live action, all that good stuff, um, especially some Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11 action for you guys. So be sure to, you know, keep checking the channel. Stay tuned for that. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectron out.